everybody. In today's video, we are talking about a very common abuse tactic that narcissists use on their victims. And this specific abuse tactic and manipulation tactic isn't talked about a lot or understood. So I am going to explain exactly what stonewalling is and specific examples of what it looks like. If you're new to this channel, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you and invite you to please subscribe and be sure and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every week. Also, if you are interested in private one-on-one -on -one narcissistic abuse recovery coaching with me, please visit my website linked in the description below. So first, let's define and explain exactly what stonewalling is. Stonewalling is essentially a manipulation tactic often used by narcissists where they refuse to communicate or cooperate with you to resolve an issue. It's where they shut you off completely and many times will involve them not talking to you, responding to you, and in some cases, uh, they may even behave as if you do not exist, as if you are invisible. An example of this would be you trying to speak to them about a topic they don't want to discuss, so they pretend you do not exist. They not only do not speak to you, but they don't look you in the eye, but rather look through you as if you're not standing right in front of them. My father did this to me all the time. Many times with the higher disordered spectrum people, um, like malignant narcissists and sociopaths, they will, they will not do this because they genuinely don't want to communicate with you, but rather they do it because it's fun for them. It's enjoyment, it's entertainment to watch you struggle to engage and there is no acknowledgement that you are actually in the room and stare and they stare off into space. In, in this capacity, it's extremely cruel and can harm the victim being exposed to it. It can be an extreme form of emotional and psychological abuse, leaving the victim distressed and extremely confused. So now let's discuss some other ways that stonewalling can look like or might be showing up in your own life. Um, aggressive body language like eye rolling or scowling, defensive communication, refusing to answer any questions, blame shifting onto someone else, usually you, acts as if you're not important and have nothing of value to say, giving the silent treatment, avoiding discussions about the problem, busying themselves while you're trying to talk to them, avoiding eye contact, staring past you, or at their phone, watch, or TV, abruptly walking away, acting busy or abruptly moving into, into another task or telling you to change the topic, ignoring you completely and acting as if you do not, they, that they do not hear you or also sometimes um, see you, ignoring you when you speak, eye rolling, dismissing your ideas and perspectives like they are invalid, stupid, unreasonable, or boring dismissing your concerns um, to discuss any issue with you. These are all examples of stonewalling. And if you um, think you may be involved with a narcissist in some capacity in your life, these are some of the things that you should be looking out for. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on my other social media platforms. They're all listed in the description below. Thanks for watching everybody.